Every 20 seconds, someone loses a limb due to diabetes. Diabetes is the reason for approximately 75% of all non-traumatic limb amputations. Neuropathy or nerve damage in diabetes will affect nearly half of individuals with diabetes in their lifetime. Moreover, around 15% of those with diabetes will develop a diabetic foot ulcer over their lifespan. Early detection of neuropathy is of utmost importance to prevent complications like foot ulcers and amputations. Introducing Vibrasense, your ultimate portable and smart peripheral neuropathy screening device. This innovative technology quantifies vibration perception threshold, revolutionizing the way doctors perform neuropathy screenings. What sets Vibrasense apart is its remarkable portability, fitting snugly in a doctor's coat pocket. Whether you're at the hospital facility or on the go in remote locations, Vibersense is your trusted companion. Its lightweight design allows easy mobility, ensuring neuropathy screening is accessible wherever it's needed. Worried about running out of power? Fear not. Vibersense is rechargeable, just like your mobile phone. With a single charge, it can efficiently screen 70 to 100 patients, a true game changer in patient care. And here's where the magic happens. Vibrasense is a smart device that pairs seamlessly via Bluetooth with your mobile phone. Wave goodbye to tedious paperwork. It generates color-graded reports, helping clinicians educate patients about specific foot areas requiring extra care and attention. It serves as a visual aid empowering patients to proactively manage their health. Join the future of neuropathy screening with Vibrasense, where simplicity meets precision. Welcome to this explainer video on neuropathy screening using Vibersense. Throughout this video, we'll walk you through each step of the process. Let's dive into the components of the Vibersense device. The Vibersense device comprises of the following parts. A vibration probe responsible for generating vibrations of different intensities. The display showcasing the current testing position and the intensity of the vibration stimulus. Five intuitive buttons that facilitate the operation. The power button, which seamlessly turns the device on or off. Up and down arrows designed to adjust the vibration intensity and switch between various testing positions. The peer button that plays a dual role, saving values and positions during testing and, when pressed for an extended duration, transmitting data from the device to the associated mobile app. The pause slash reset button, allows you to temporarily halt vibrations when pressed. Holding this button down for an extended period erases the previous test data from the device. This is done when switching the test from one foot to another. These are the six positions that are tested on each foot. Step 1. Registration of the patient. Turn on the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and GPS of your mobile. Launch the Vibra Connect app. Click on the new test option and select the foot option. This will bring up the start scanning button. Click on this and pair your Vibrasense device when it appears on the screen. On the subsequent screen, click on new patient click here. Enter the patient details and click on the register to get started button. The app will now show this screen with options for right and left leg. You can now proceed to the next step. Step two, familiarize the patient to the vibration stimulus. Apply the vibration probe to a bony prominence in the upper limb and increase the vibration stimulus till the subject feels the buzzing sensation. Inform the subject to say yes or show thumbs up sign when they feel similar buzzing in the feet being tested. Step three, testing on the first foot. Start from the default position P1 with the vibration intensity at zero. Apply the vibration probe at position one, ensuring that the probe is perpendicular and gently touching the skin surface. Use the up arrow to increase the vibration intensity until the subject affirms feeling the sensation. Save this value by pressing the peer button once. Then use the up arrow to move the position to P2 and save this position by pressing the peer button once. Now proceed to test at position P2. 
Follow the same steps of testing at the subsequent positions from P2 to P6. Once you have completed the testing at P6, come back to the app screen and tap on the button for the corresponding foot. Then, long press the PR button on the device. This will send the data to the app and the report for the foot will be generated in the app. Step 4. Testing the other foot. Before testing, erase the data of the previous leg by long press of the pause reset button. Now repeat the same procedure of testing for the other foot. After completing the testing at P6, go to the app screen and press the button for that foot. Then long press the PR button on the device. This will generate the report for that foot. Step 5 Generation of the Final Report Click the Report button in the app screen to generate the final report of both feet. To generate the PDF report, click on the Print button. You can share this PDF or print this report using a color printer.